Welcome back to Paper Mario, everybody! Oh, we need to take a nap today. The slogan of the Toad House is refresh your body and soul. Pleasant dreams. We're going to sleep. It's snug and warm. Yes, we slept well. Also, we've got a letter to deliver in here. To Frost T, and I believe this is him. Please get the Star Rod back from Bowser, Mario! The Mushroom Kingdom deserves to be at peace. Good luck. Nope, not him. Twink! Not really Twink. I wonder how Twink is doing. He was the last one to rise up to the sky. He went just before Bowser took the Star Rod. He was such a great kid. He looked after everybody. Do you think I'll ever get to see Twink again? Yeah, you will. Oh, this has got to be Frosty. Along with the ninjas, we're taking care of the Star Kids under the instruction of the Mystic Merle. It's very rewarding to think that these kids might grow up to be a star spirit. Oh, can you imagine it? What a happy day that'd be. But unless things get better around here, it'll just be a fantasy that never comes true. Not him? I'm cooking for the star kids. They're behaving pretty well. That's a relief. It's probably because they believe you'll get the star rod back. I certainly hope you do. Tell me a story! Tell me the story about the time you saved a star spirit! I wonder what Twink is doing. Do you think Twink's doing fun stuff up there? Somebody read me a story. It was all about how stars and star haven grant people's wishes. Alright, where's Frosty? He found me! Hehehehe, <laughs> what, did you see me glittering? Hey, do you think I can rise into the sky soon? Hope so. Okay, so that's Merle. I want to go to Star Haven. When I get to the go there, I want to deliver lots of people's wishes, and I want to become a great star spirit someday. When I do, I'll grant your wishes, Mario. Of course I will, I promise. Never been so busy. These star kids are as hyper as the day is long. There we go, this has got to be Frosty. One of the star kids seems to be playing hide and seek. You haven't seen him, have you? I swear, the second I take my eyes off him, he always runs off somewhere. What a naughty little star kid. You're Frosty, correct? The name's Paracary, and your nephew sent you a letter. Another letter delivered. Oh, thank you. Ah, how nice. It's a letter from Little Dainty and Mini T. Oh, those naughty little rascals. When I visited their home, they were always up to something. They do write me letters often. It's nice to get letters. Their mail makes me as happy as mail for my wife and daughter. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. I need a letter delivered. I'd like you to take this letter to Goompapa in Goomba Village. It's actually a reply to Little Goomberia, but I think her dad could explain it to her better. Drop it off whenever you have a chance, alright? Thank you so much. We get the letter to Goombapa, the last letter in the ladder side quest. Well, that's been going on for way too long. Alright. Gotta head back to Shiver City now. Woohoo! I got a lot of FP for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So when two snowmen were working on a group project together, one of them worked very well with the other, but the other one, well, he wasn't that great of a team member. Let's just say, he flaked a lot. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I swear the culprits look like they're laughing uproariously when they uh, die. Yay, I love my money. And I need a lot of it in order to get all of Rip Cheeto's stuff. The snowman's missing a scarf. Let's go back to Shiver City. And poor Junior Troopa. He's now frozen. Maybe now he'll stop following me around everywhere. Seriously, he's stalking me. That's not cool, man. Gotta store some stuff, because we get a lot of items in this uh, upcoming area. Repel gel for one. And an iced potato. <sighs> We're not going to need the life shroom.
All right, what? Uh, okay. Cocoa Pop and Lemon Candy aren't that great. I'll take those. I'm trying to use up all of my kind of lamer items in this area. I still have a Maple Super. And the Apple Pie. And the Strange Cake. I'll take the Maple Super at the very least. We can check the healthy juice. Cool. That gives us plenty of room in our item inventory. Come, Bombette. Am I a penguin? Oh, Mario! Did you reach Starborn Valley? Did you see Merle? Oh, excellent! He said, what? An item that has been passed down in this city? Um, oh right! There was something like that. Just a minute. I think I've got it somewhere. It's a bucket! Yes, I found it! Here it is! This is what we penguins used to take the ice bucket challenge. Of course, that was back in 2015. This bucket has been passed down through the years in Shiver City. As Merle must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. If you use this and the scarf together, the way to Crystal Palace will open. Who knows what it all means, though? <laughs> I don't have the slightest clue as how to use them together. Sounds like those star kids in Starborn Valley are in trouble. Hope you do your best for those little tykes. They're just kids. Best of luck to you. Well, thank you, Mayor Penguin. That's very nice. Alright, so now we're going to explore much more in depth in the Shiver region. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I love Shiver City. The penguins are so adorable and the music is so awesome. <laughs> so this guy's missing a bucket, so let's give him that. A cool bucket hat! Thank you! A warm scarf! Thank you! What a kind man you are! We all thank you! As a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. And now the whole mountain moves up. That's insane! Insanely awesome! That's a pretty awesome secret. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowman. Aww. Thanks, guys. Also, this is some of my favorite music in the game. I know I've said this a lot, but this music is so groovy. <laughs> I want to lick you. <laughs> oh, I told a funny joke. Even though he actually didn't. <laughs> oh, that's a riot. You can attack the rock piles if you move to the left. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you for using a smaller rock. Ha ha ha! Funny joke! Funny joke! You go, Bombet. You're the girl. Oh, I should've taken a nap. Actually, no, I shouldn't. I'm one star point away from leveling up. Now I'm gonna level up FP. And yes, in case you guys are wondering, my HP and FP are both quite low for this world. Normally you'd have around 40, but I also leveled up BP a lot, so that's part of the reason. Also be on the lookout for invisible blocks in here. Hi, guys!
Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah, see, Cooper deals uh, 5 damage with Shell Toss, that's not good. Because I can't defend against that at all. Let's Fire Shell him. Ah, oh, just didn't kill them. Darn it. Nice try. Okay, so Fire Shell is not very effective against Gulpids. Frost Piranhas, on the other hand, fair game. Thank you, Cooper. I like how you use Cooper in this area a lot more than you did in the previous it worlds. Okay, so, Brick Block here, hit it, then do Spin Jump, and bada beam bada boom, you get the Ultra Shroom! Ultra Fine Mushroom restores 50 HP. We haven't had one of these in a while, and I'm beginning to think I should have saved the one I used for the Shroom Steak, because I learned you can actually make Shroom Steaks a different way. Also, if we go down here, rarest item in the entire game. You got the Pebble, a common Pebble, throw it to damage one enemy. That is literally the only Pebble in the entire game. Can't be used for recipes at all. And he, this is a bit interesting. Two Coopers come back. Hmm? No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me! Imposter, who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What? 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 That's impossible! I'm the one and only Cooper! You're talking crazy talk now! You're making no sense! I'm the genuine Cooper, Cooper, really! Come on, Mario, you know me! This guy's a big liar! I'm not lying! Mario, you know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody-goody! I'm his buddy! Yeah, that's it! Why, you- You're the one who should shut his mouth! I'm his buddy! Listen, moron, er, Mario, you have to decide who's lying! It's the only way! Pick the one who you think is lying and whack him really hard with the hammer! Fine! Yeah, fine with me! If you think you'll get away with a trick like that, then fine! You, I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. So it's obviously this guy who is, um... Also, you can't change your partner. Can we change your partner you know, here? Nope. It's obviously this guy who insulted us and doesn't really know who Cooper is. He's like, yeah, that's it. Hey, it's like Lee! Yo, what made you think I was the one lying, huh? It must have been luck. No one has instincts that good. Don't be such a crybaby. You lost. What were you thinking, trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up! I'll trick you! And he brought his friend. This is a dupla ghost. It's like the one that Lee is from the dojo. This is a Duple Ghost. Duple Ghosts disguise themselves as members of our party. Max HP 15, attack power 4, defense power 0. They love to attack in disguise. It seems like they're generally stronger fighters when they're not disguised, though. It's great if you can get them to copy Goombario, because then they'll spend most of their time just tattling. Whereas if you get a partner out like, um, Watt, it's gonna be hard to kill Watt. You really need Hammer Throw. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, also, forgot to mention, uh, it's just one tattle for the Duple Ghosts. You don't have to tattle them on them as every partner that they duplicated. Thank goodness for that. Beat it. Oh yeah, and Club is her back, but first we're gonna go up here. Last upgrade block. Here, Paracarry. Here's your upgrade. Paracarry is upgraded to Ultra Rank. He gets the ability Air Raid, which damages all aerial enemies. Enemies! Yep! Enemies. 
They can get the first tricks on you very easily. Yeah, White Clubbas are back. They're quite a bit tougher this time, though. Wah! Take this. This is a white clubba. They live in cold climates. Who knows why they moved here? Max HP 12, attack power 5, defense power 0. They sometimes attack consecutively. They're pretty powerful. It's tough to swing with such big clubs. Ice attacks won't work on them, so break out fire if you have it. Also, sometimes they'll do three weaker club moves. And I'm gonna smooch, because I'm running low on HP. Kind of weird how a single kiss can give you plus 20 HP, but I won't complain with it. I like how Gumbario, even at the end of the game, is still a really good partner. Maybe not the best partner. Probably is, though, with his charge move. But he's good. Okay, here's an interesting part. So you see these items? So, we can pick up the shooting star, but then door closes. So you have to put an item in here, and the pebble is the perfect thing to do that for. Snowman doll, really not gonna help us. Thunder Rage actually will. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna put the Ultra Shroom there, because I want to grab that on my way back, but I don't actually want to use it in this next world, because we need it for cooking. Here's a space where you can put something. If... But if we go down here, hey, 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 nice little crack. You go, Bombat. Beautiful palace, but hey, dead end. Well, we can walk right through the wall, just like Merle said we could. Looks like more lovely. At last, it is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. <laughs> ho ho, do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Merlar. I am a messenger of the stars. You know Merlin and Merle well. I am their ancestor. The stars spoke of me. Uh, of, the stars spoke to me of you through my dreams. They said you would come to the shrine on Shiver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. You may not know this, but the followers of Bowser have invaded the Crystal Palace, where stars are honored. Now, what I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. In the interest of time, I'll be brief, so pay attention to the key points. The story begins a long, long time ago. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on the mountain one day. I ran there immediately and... But it was actually... Oh, such a sight. I was... And it was so... It was none other than... So then, then I... And that's why I don't wear an ascot. So that's why I must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace. But, hey, you, were you even listening to my story? Well, okay then. As I was saying, you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. With this stone, you can open the way to the Crystal Palace. Go on, make haste. Hmm, do you think you understood my shortened version of the tale? It really doesn't do the story justice, you know. Perhaps one day I'll tell you the full story. Till then, good luck. I like how even Nintendo thought that was boring. You got the Star Stone! A stone opens the path to Crystal Palace. Cool. Look at those beautiful snow mountains in the background. Star Stone! This part's really cool. I love just how crazy this world is. With, like, the whole mountain rises up, then, like, these, this ice rises up makes perfect little stairs for you. I just think it's a very visually impressive world. Also, before going up that staircase... 
Thanks, Bombat. I couldn't use your ability. Ouch. We're close to the dungeon, so I'm gonna blow some FP. Hey, Cooper. I wanna use your fire shell. Warm and toasty! <laughs> that is not nearly as much star points as I would like. And in here, we get the Mega Jump Badge! It's about time! Mario stomps on a single enemy using tons of attack power. Although, admittedly, that badge is pretty lame. Like, power bounce is better, so... Safe block there if you're so inclined. That's what I'm interested in. I like, I love how in this area there's like all the mirrors with the reflections going in them. That's very well done. And welcome to Crystal Palace. Seriously, the reflections are like perfect. Save block there if you want. There's an X there, but hitting it does nothing. It's just for show. Oh, that's right, I forgot about these guys. These guys are annoying. Swoopulas. This is a Swoopula. Swoopulas attack from the air and cling to you and suck your HP. Max HP 8, attack power 2, defense power 0. Hit A repeatedly to fight it off or else it'll keep sucking your HP. You can't jump high enough to attack them while they're hanging up from the ceiling. An earthquake attack ought to work though. Flying party members like Bow or Paracarry can also attack them with ease. If they fall and begin to flap around, you can attack by jumping on them as well. It's like Huff and Puff all over again, isn't it? Except this time they actually suck your HP. Not a fan! Take that, Swoopula! Uh, even the floor is reflecting the coins, that's awesome. I'm gonna avoid fighting as many Swoopulas as I can. They're annoying enemies. Open the chest and... We get the blue key. The puzzles in this dungeon are pretty awesome, also. This is one of the coolest dungeons in the game, if not the coolest. So there's a red door there. What we want to do is hit this. And the entire palace moves down. And hey, it's a blue door! This whole area is just so visually impressive. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it! But hey, 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 look at that! Up there, the ba the b wall did not blow up. And Mario just walked right through the wall, and now the reflection's not working. Interesting. We can actually walk through this part. As you can see, that was not reflective. Okay, you know what? I'm taking off. Money, money. Just because, at this point, if I don't have enough money to buy all of Rip Cheeto stuff, I'm going to sell a couple of my really good recipes, like the honey uh, super or something, or the maple, <laughs> the jelly super, because those fetch a lot of money. All right, what do I want to equip in here? Maybe a power plus, actually. That could help. Flower saver could also be nice. I wonder if, because flower saver saves one FP every time you attack. If you use the charge, which only costs 1 FP, could you just do that without using FP at all? Flower Saver could be nice, but then again, with power... 
I try Flower Saver, yeah. I can't remember the last time I actually equipped that. And Jump Charge. That's always a fun one. Yeah, so if we can go over here and now blow up the wall... And hey, it's our reflections! Yikes! Mario's here! Whoa, we better beat him! <laughs> Just like all crazy stuff like this, where it's like the reflections were actually duple ghosts the whole time. It's amazing. I really don't want to have to go up against Bo, so let's... Let's do sushi. <laughs> I've actually never faced duplicated sushis. This will be interesting. Uh, charge still costs one FP. That's annoying. Take that, sushi. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this whole area is just so awesome and crazy, and it's amazing. It's totally unique and unlike anything else that you've seen in the game, and it's awesome. No, the real Mario is so strong! Sushi had to get her screen time. Cooper and Bombette are, getting, are gonna get plenty of screen time. So now what we can do, actually, is we can exit the palace. And we're out on this side of the crystal area. If we go in this cave, we get ourselves a nice little star piece. Okay, so Flower Saver does not protect your attacks from dealing or from needing it less than one FP, but it's still pretty good. It's, oh, Super Shroom in there. That's not a great item. Ouch. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna try Tidal Wave. Hopefully I can do a good enough job. I just started mashing the buttons. <laughs> yes! <laughs> nice going, Sushi! Nice go! Nice going, Sushi! Let's go! I approve. So now we can break that. No thanks. I don't like fighting swoopulas. Then in this little chest... We get the P-Down D-Up Badge. Decreases attack power by one, but it increases defense by one. And it takes only two BP, so... If you really, really want plus one like defense, but you don't want to have to equip defend plus, then... It's an option, it just makes you weaker. Ooh, red magic Koopa. It's been a while since we've seen you. Mega Quake also only takes six B or six FP. Alright, let's try Tidal Wave again. Okay, so can't just mash the buttons. And that's what happens if they attack normally. Also, sorry, Lack of Lester, after Flower Fields, you are not very good. And wow, we still get a decent amount of money even without money money. We get ourselves a shooting star. I kind of want to... I'll eat the super shroom. Because let's be honest, we're... We've kind of outgrown super shrooms at this point. But at this point, you might be wondering how can we progress, because we've explored literally every room we can. Well, you know how we dis dis uh, we ju did the jump pound on the... I can't talk. You know how we did the... What is that called? The, the tornado spin on like the wooden panel and went underneath and got that one badge? 
Well, that actually affects this side of the dungeon. See? Where the X was, now it's broken. Cool little stuff like that. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> what? Who are all of you? You're all trying to look like me! Mario, don't tell me you can't tell which one is the real Bombette. You can tell, right? Hey, I heard that! You're spreading lies, you imposter! I'm the real Bombette! No, 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 no! Mario, look carefully at me and you'll know. I'm the real Bombette. It can only be me. These others are all liars. I'm the one! Mario! Me! Don't fall for these tricks! I'll pull you up if you do! I... I'm the real Bombette. P please trust your eyes and look at me. I... I'm not lying. No! I can't bear this! Mario, smash these imposters with your hammer. All of you pretending to be me, I can't take it another second. Oh, that's a nice idea. That'll clear all this up. Yes! Good idea! I hate imposters! Mario, I'm the real Bombette, so don't you dare hate me! This one's a bit tougher, but basically, this one is, has all those dot dot dots. That's an imposter. No, no, I... I should have worked harder on my Bombette disguise. I, I won't forget this. If you hit the real Bombat, all the ones, all the fake ones that you didn't hit, you have to fight. You always were like super aggressive and talking with a ton of exclamation points, and you threatened to blow me up. Bombat would never do that. What? Why did you hit me? Blast! You found me. What's wrong with my disguise? It wasn't your disguise. It was the way you talk. You had a bunch of hearts, and I mean, I mean Bombat's like, she's not like in love with me. So, oh, you must be very smart to figure out I was an imposter. Curses, I thought you were doing a great job of confusing you. I'll be back. You had a bunch of stars in your text, so that's weird. Oh, somehow you managed to see through my disguise. Darn it, I thought I was doing so well. If you'd hit me with the hammer, Mario, I was going to bomb you the next time you napped. Wow! But you didn't! I'm so happy you knew I was the real bomb bet. Oh, That's so precious. I ship it. <laughs> you got the red key! <laughs> Alright. That's gonna do it for this episode. You saw the save block on the way, and I'm gonna stop there. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in for the next episode, we will most likely finish the Crystal Palace, barring anything unforeseen happening. Have a great day, and God bless!